Okay, uh, back again. So, uh, as I was working on, this is pretty, this is pretty locked pretty good. The weight transfer was pretty good. Still too, too much, too much butt turn. Try to be more like that. I'm going to go with a very, a locked arm that's never going to cock. This locked arm is just going to go here. It's going to go here. It's going to come back. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit five balls starting with the lob wedge, pitching wedge, four iron, five iron, seven iron. So here we go. Lob wedge. And this is going for maybe about, we're going to call this our 60, our 60 yard shot. Nice height in the air and good contact, good concentration. Location a little off, but good contact. direction. Maybe it didn't keep that swing as true as I wanted. So let's go again. Let's try to be true. Let's watch that club face. Much better. up just a bit but accurate. Pitching wedge is going to have a maybe a lower trajectory but distance wise I'm looking for 110 to 100 yards with the pitching wedge. Too bad. Not too bad. Let's put it where we have the log wedge. Let's see. Yeah, better ball position. Let's try one more. So I think that that uh, that pitching wedge is going to go inside inside my left foot. Oh yes, that clearly is the position for that club. Now we're going to hit five shots with the four iron, and I believe the four iron should be positioned um, for me right of the five, which would be in the middle, and right of the or right of the seven, which is in the middle, right of the five, which is right up to seven, so we're going to put a little more forward in our stance. Okay, didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get it. Might be too far forward. Move it back just a drop. Didn't like the sound of that.
Okay? Didn't get the elevation that I wanted, but uh, nevertheless, we'll bring out the five. It was uh, not bad ball striking. I mean, any, any ball striking like that is going to advance the ball, which is the uh, my goal is to get to my pitching wedge. Now that's my aim, to get to the pitching wedge where I think I can do some damage. Okay, a little off the face. Topped a little bit, but it would travel. Okay, I'm not quite pleased with that, so let's just try two more. Better. And now, five with the seven. Hitting the heavier clubs first should help me generate a little more ball speed on my seven, which, uh, believe it or not, I don't hit that often. Keep your arm extended, keep your arm extended, keep it locked. Okay, top the drop. Top the drop. A little dip. Not bad. Well, that was the ironwork. Next drill will be the three wood hybrid and rescue.